See, something like this where we're talking, Paul, mm -hmm. you might want to just put this on YouTube mm -hmm. for the general consumption. Mm -hmm. Anyone who, looking at fitness stuff, would come, would come across it, something like that. But if we're going to be in, in home, mm -hmm. sheltering in place, well, you want to do more than sheltering. You, you really want to be, be exercising in place, if you will. And that has great advantages as well as far as keeping safe uh, through this whole crisis and, and, and knowing um, your, your, uh, your body and, and where you are, you, there's no, no, no extracurricular work. Everything is done right at home. Yeah, well, our clientele, Dan, has always been, been people that we can service in their homes. And unfortunately, with the current situation with the coronavirus and everyone being stuck at home and especially seniors being trapped in right. some assisted living facilities some of the times they're not even allowed to leave their room and if we can put together and provide with them a safe effective i don't want to use the word easy but it's a careful and a well thought out workout that's designed specifically for seniors, I think it could be very beneficial to so many people who who are are sitting watching CNN or watching TV or staring at their phone or their computer and they could do this this exercise video whenever they want. They could spend 10 minutes doing it in the morning and 10 minutes doing it in yeah. the afternoon. They could do it multiple times a day. It's not the type of workout now correct me if I'm wrong, that is so difficult and so muscularly challenging to them that mm -hmm. it wouldn't benefit them uh, to do it multiple times a day. Oh, I think you can get away doing this type of body movement uh, at, uh, twice a day. And really, seriously, because if anything, it's, it's beneficial to the joints. It's not going to degrade joint. We're, we're, we're working movements from a high pivot, a suspension type of workout where we're really keeping the limbs uh, supported and buoyant. That's the key. We're using all three ranges, uh, uh, I should say all three planes of movement um, when we do this, and you should feel invigorated and more limber when you're done. Uh, you know, people spending uh, uh, enormous amounts of money doing online classes via universities now. And it's certainly, I think this new telemedicine, tele, uh, you know, classroom uh, interaction is, is certainly will carry over very easily and may be a perfect fit for fitness is the tele-fitness that we're doing right now and we want to introduce in, in a more broad broad scale too and one of the one of the um, fears that people have who are deconditioned or who are out of shape um, is that they're going to injure themselves right and I always tell people that our workouts are designed to make you feel better and more mobile and to be stronger when you're done with your workout than when you started your workout. Many people have always had this thought process or been taught the no pain, no gain. I'm going to work myself into the ground so that I can barely stand up or I can barely sign a check when I'm done working out. And we want to tell you that when you finish our workout or a good workout designed for a person who's not looking for muscle mass and inc incredible muscle building, you will feel invigorated, you will feel stronger, you will feel lighter on your feet, you will feel more mobile, you'll feel great, you should sleep better. Uh, and it should not be uh, uh, in any way whatsoever um, hurtful to the joints, that's key. Joint health is imperative. If you don't have joint health, you won't move. So joint health really comes before heart health. If you want to get your heart in shape, you have to move. But if your knees 
back or hurting, where you literally immobilized, then you're not going to be able to get in that type of cardiovascular conditioning that you, your, your doctor wants you to get in without protecting the joints. This type of suspension training really does enhance joint function and joint health. It releases that synovial fluid. The more we move a joint, the more synovial fluid is flushed in that joint, and that's crucial. As we age, our joints are a lot drier than a 15-year-old. If you're a 50-year-old, you, your joints are, are, are uh, it's certainly not nearly as efficient as a young person. But with, with the high movement, the high volume, safe movement within comfortable ranges of motion, you, you get back where you, the new normal would be feeling good, being able to do everyday activities. This exercise program is for the everyday man. And if you're intimidated by going to classes, you feel embarrassed, you can do it with the privacy and comfort of your own home. And to follow up on that, Dan, our joints are the connections of our bones and our muscles are the movers of our bones. And as a person ages, our muscles tend to weaken or not work as well as they did before, neurologically speaking. And so what exercise does or a good exercise program is to fire up your muscles, to stimulate your muscles, Definitely. to get them to work better. And if your muscles work better, your joints move more freely. And that's kind of what Dan was talking about is that joint stiffness and that tightness and that lack of mobility. And some of that is caused by muscle weakness. And so by strengthening your muscles, but not doing heavy yeah. loaded lifting, you will re-engage, reinvigorate, re-stimulate, reactivate your muscles, which will help your joints. And that's one of the primary goals that we see and that we try to do with all our workouts, especially for our senior population. Well said, Paul. One thing very important to keep in mind is exercise should be something that enhances your everyday activities. If you're not a professional Olympic athlete, professional weightlifter, then your day should not be dominated or should not be at all um, compromised by being overly tired or sore from a workout session where you can't complete your everyday activities, whatever profession you're in. And so this type of workout not only enhances your physical function, but it's a mood enhancer. It really does help fight depression. It's, it's all, all the idea of, of doing a full body holistic movement, whether it's dance uh, or a, a, a light walk uh, or this type of training where we're getting not only aerobic steady state exercise where you're getting a, a cardiovascular benefit but you're also getting an emotional benefit. It's a wonderful, wonderful mood enhancer as well as a, as a body. So you're training body and soul, if you will, this type of workout. You'll, you'll not only feel better, but I, I think you'll become certainly more more productive in your everyday activities and that's what we're trying to do is use this as a supplement for your everyday uh, activities and enhance that. Uh, we hope you enjoyed our workout today and our discussion about wellness, muscles, joints. Uh, if you like what we've done please um, click that that like button on YouTube share it with others and subscribe to our page. Uh, we plan to put more and more content out there that's beneficial to everyone but especially to our senior population and our goal at Forever Fit Incorporated is to reach as many people as we can and try to educate and stimulate their bodies and their minds to make them healthier and better for 
the rest of their lives. Yeah. And you don't have to wear a mask while you do this. If you prefer to wear a mask while you do this routine, that's fine too. But it's not, it's not necessary. Excellent.